Okay, we've got this $90 Bluetooth projector on a Canadian Tire. And this is a pretty amazing thing. $90 for an HD based home theater projection, projection system that is larger than your LCD in your living room that can cost in the range for 45 inch for 500 bucks. This has Bluetooth technology. Now, it's very important to understand just right off the hop, uh, Bluetooth is only for audio. It does not transmit video from your device. You'll have to pair the audio with this device um, with this device to hear good audio because the audio coming out of the speaker um, I've seen not too great but I want to take this review a little bit further and um, see if I can connect it to a tablet and um, watch it also connect to a uh, laptop because that's really what you're going to want to do you're going to want to stream out from your computer device to this because it, that's that's what it's it's touting essentially um, it says and it reads I mean it doesn't say anything um, it's great for devices such as cable box, gaming console, Blu-ray players, uh, streaming devices like mobile phones, tablets, Roku, Apple TV, Chromecast. Interesting stuff. But um, let's plug it in and see what we can actually attach and then I'll show you what you're up against. So, I've hooked it up and I gotta say guys, this little device is cute. Look at this. You can put this thing in your backpack and go on over to the girlfriends, of family members, of friends, and you could set it up. But, there's some buts. Number one, like I said before, um, the device's audio, like any projector, like this is realistic understanding, they don't have good audio, okay? So you're gonna have to sync it with a Bluetooth device. Um, I've got a Bose, so it can really rock it. Um, I believe that that's what it'll do, it'll sync up just fine, but I'm more interested in picture quality to see what the experience is. So I've plugged it into my MacBook Pro just to see what's going on, and I'll show you what's going on. What's going on is this, okay? Now the device has a little ring on it that you can adjust it, you know, if you have an unlevel surface and stuff to a vertical, a bottom out or top um, towards you or bottom towards you, and you can kind of um, change it. I've also taken the time to ch uh, change some of the things to vivid mode you can put it on other modes picture modes but the normal standard isn't that bright i've tried some other reductions and stuff like that reduced display and all the rest of the fun stuff but it does not do the uh thing justice so i would recommend that you keep it on that and go from there um to put it into something more crisp because my review um essentially is this is not doing well. I've got Mowgli movie on. By the way, you want to watch another video of mine showing uh, how animals love Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle on Netflix. Uh, my dog is fascinated with all the animal sounds. Check it out. But the thing is, is that this picture quality is subpar. Like, it's dim. Like, it might be good for a Netflix and chill, uh, hashtag Netflix and chill night, but with your, you know, with your partner. But um, honestly, uh, you'll have to have all the lights out, like dark. If you if you're trying to use this in the daytime, forget about it. Um, I think projectors in the in you know in essence is like this, and I think this is like two two thousand lumens, um, which is supposedly pretty good. But I'm not too impressed with the contrast ratio and the and the brightness of making it pop for ninety bucks. Though I mean it's it's pretty good, and it uh, streams out from the laptop. Honestly, it's it's playing it, but it's playing the audio through. From the computer so you're gonna want to hook it up to a Bluetooth and you can pair it uh, supposedly with that and that's the Bluetooth amazingness because the sound quality will suck from this and sometimes even laptops ain't that great so you can really have a great experience you can really make something of this say it's in your basement um, of the home but the light you're gonna have to be just concerned about that it's really not the amazing thing that you, you want to go better higher end if you're gonna go projector and whatnot now, there's two HDMI's in. There's also crazy uh, inputs on this, like old school VGA stuff and putting it into your computer and then bringing it in. But the deal with this device is truly, you're gonna need some peripherals. So here's the amazing thing. Let's see if a $30, you know, this is, this is the new iPhone and iPad stuff. Let's unplug the device from the computer. Let's plug it into like a new fancy iPad and see if you could run 
Netflix from something like that. And I've got Netflix hooked up here. And I'll just confirm with you whether or not this is going to work. Um, so let's put Mowgli on, which you're going to want to check the other video out. Do, 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 do. M O Mowgli. And let's play it. But you have to remember. Let's see. Are you ready? Now, this is all peripherals, okay? HDMI cable costs you money. That peripheral costs you money. It, this device does not come with it. So you got to hit the menu, which is an arrow and a um, down uh, an arrow in it. It's a little button on the top here to switch the source. So let's switch the source to HDMI 2, and I'll go OK. And drum roll, please. Oh, now playing on your TV. So it's seeing it. So now here's the moment of truth if you have all the peripherals all these little connectors and you got to buy extra okay so it's playing on the through the ipad and it's connected into hdmi 2 and there it is on the screen in my living room but there's no audio and it looks like i'm going to have to pair a bluetooth speaker to have the audio play so, uh, I found that, you know, you can connect the uh, <laughs> Apple uh, product peripheral, which is 30 bucks, to an HDMI cable that's going to cost you money also because it doesn't come in this uh, package. And you can connect it. You can connect it to your phone, you can connect it to your iPad, and get some video running out. So, this would be great for your kids in a tent in, in their bedroom. Um, but the audio, I've tried to pair it multiple times, turning this on, turning it on. This is Bose. This is good stuff. RCA is great too, um, but it's not happening. Now, there is an audio video and an audio out cable that you could then link up. You're probably going to have to do that to get this Bluetooth thing working correctly. It's not easy because there's so many Bluetooth devices. You're, I had to turn off Bluetooth on my, uh, my laptop, Bluetooth on this device because it kept seeing all these Bluetooth devices. You're going to have a pain in the butt, okay? It's going to get you kind of frustrated, so you're going to have to deal with that holiday season. Watch out. You know, it could mess with you. But um, this device is not sending any audio. I don't hear the audio coming through the HDMI to this device to even pump out the speaker in this little mini guy here, which is nice. Like, honestly, you buy this for your kids uh, in the bedroom. I'd say this is like for your kids. Um, a great stuff. I uh, wouldn't rely on it for business presentations or anything like that. But, I mean, realistically, I get it. You know, 90 bucks, you don't get any cables. You don't get nothing. Um, you got to go spend another, you know, um, 40 bucks on other things for your kids and then another audio video cable to make it simple for the because everyone's gonna get frustrated right like um, they're not technologically adept so understand that this you need to get an HDMI cable the lights gonna have to be low you're gonna have to cut the curtain shut it's good for the kids like straight up 90 bucks but like it's not gonna be your home entertainment system like it's touting in this um, picture um, there's a lot better stuff on the market that you can get and you know brighter you want brightness value lux value and contrast ratio be very concerned about that test these devices um, but uh, yeah it's a, it would be great It really blow your kids mind great stuff not for me it'll be going back to the store and um, we'll be going from there I hope you learned something in this and what you're up against with this device uh, and um, I'll see you in another video